I'm Phyllis. I live in my van. I'm at a Loves truck stop. I decided to splurge today and get a shower. It's $16, which all seems like a lot to me to pay for a shower when I can wash my hair in the sink. But I just thought I'd show y'all about it. It is super, super, super clean. They clean them between each person. They even give you towels and there's a toilet. And I think there's like a 20 minute Time that you can be. I'm all clean. That was a wonderful shower. And I got some water here at Lowe's, so I'm going to get back on the road. There's a Walmart down the road where I'm going to stock up on some groceries. thought I'd show you how awkward it is to make up my bed. I have a single bed mattress. It's, sorry for the wind noise. I got a memory foam mattress at Walmart. Um, it's an eight inch memory foam. I wanted a six inch, but they were out of them. The six inches, I think a hundred dollars and this one was like 140. I don't remember something like that. I wanted the thinner one just cause I, you know, that another two inches of height and I got a, a mattress topper just to make it a little bit more comfortable because I'm a big baby uh, well actually I have arthritis so I need a comfy bed so I'm on my bed right now the thing about making your bed in a van where it's raised like this is you actually have to be on the bed when you're making making it so it's a little awkward so I'm gonna try to show you. This is my bed area. I'm trying to give you a little shot. There's a messy shelf I have over where my feet go. And it, I know it's messy, but there's tons of storage back there. And here's my bed. There's that gray plastic I haven't covered up yet. I know it's odd. So you see I've got a little mattress topper. And I've got my back doors open. Look at that. And there were hawks and eagles hunting right over there earlier. There's not a lot of traffic on this road, but the people who are driving by are looking at me funny because my back doors are open and I'm filming. But anyway, so I've got my, my fitted sheet. And you can imagine when you have the mattress topper on there, it makes it a little bit more awkward, but I love my mattress topper. So I do this back corner first because that's the hardest one to get and I have to be careful not to hit my head right there which I hit my head kind of a lot doing this but it's gonna be funny to watch and it's gonna be harder now because I actually hit my finger with a hammer at my son's apartment when I was putting some furniture together it's it's still pretty sore y'all other corner but I'm gonna do this other corner I'm probably not gonna show you that because it's pretty much the same I went ahead and did that corner the last corner which is of course the hardest so I'm standing 
ending up now on the runner on the back of my van. And I'm going to try to get this last corner up. That was a really awkward angle, but I've got it. I've got it on all four corners of the fitted sheet. Just gonna pull down the sides a little bit. That part's not so bad. Oh, I cut my arm. Oh well. So you can see it's it's a little awkward, but if I can do it, y'all can do it. Okay, I've got the fitted sheet on. So now, this is the easy part. I've got the top sheet. We're just gonna spread it out. So it is a little awkward doing it while you're on the bed, but it's not that big of a deal, really. Sorry for the awkward angle. Okay. I know you're probably wondering about those wires and my weird back doors and some other stuff. I'm gonna be doing a video pretty soon about work I've done on my van and changes I'm making. So I will explain that hot mess of wires over there in that video. So now what I do is I get the, the top of it and I just kind of Put it, you have to kind of move around to get it in front of you. So I put the top of it where I want it. Move back and then just kind of straighten it out that way. And then I just tuck it in a little bit on the ends. I'm, I'm not too precious about it being completely tucked in at the bottom. So that's how you make a bed in a van. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got a laugh out of it. I'm sure it looks funny. I'll right, go ahead and show you the rest of it. Uh, the next part I've got on right now is my electric blanket. Yes, I have an electric blanket. And yes, I was in 100 degree weather plus a few days ago and now I've got my electric blanket which I love. And yes, you can have an electric blanket with solar and it's not 12 volts, it runs off my inverter, but it seems to work fine. So I tuck the cord down in the back and then the controls, I tuck down the side. Sorry for the awkward angle. I don't have a cinematographer. So I, I don't get my feet caught on it. So there's my bed all made. I know it's not perfect, but I don't expect perfect. It's an awkward space and I'm not sure how you'd tuck it in perfect anyway. And my two pillows and then I always keep right here my badass knife, which I'll show you in another video. I like to keep it by my bed, kind of for safety. I also keep a hammer right there. And that peeking out right there, I keep my bathrobe under the pillow good place to have it out of the way. Well, I hope y'all found those interesting. I know it's a little bit boring, but I just thought I'd show you a little bit of real van life, some van life basics. So thanks so much for watching. Please consider hitting that like button. And if there's anything y'all want to see about real van life, please just put it in the comments. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts. Thank you so much again. Love y'all. Bye.